Hello everyone, Steve Myers here with another Creo Parametric 2-Minute Tutorial. Today's subject comes from a question that I saw on the Planet PTC Community website. Someone was asking how to create a square to round blend, and today I'll show you how to do that. The process starts with two sections a certain distance apart. I've already sketched the square section, and that's just done in the standard way. But you need to pay attention to what you do when you sketch the round section. We're going to leverage a couple of sketcher tools to make this blend come out just right. In a couple seconds I'll sketch a circle, but before I do that I want to establish the corners of my square section as references. Now recall that references in the sketcher are just places where the sketcher will snap. So I'm grabbing all four corners of this square, and then I'll sketch the circle. Uh, that's just easy enough. Right mouse click, circle, drag the circle out to the right diameter. And here's where we get a little bit fancy. I'm going to create a center line that crosses through each one of those reference points, going across the square first diagonally in one direction and then in the other. And then we'll use a tool called Divide to split the circle up so that it actually becomes four segments that are divided at the corners of the square section. The reason we do this is that for blends, each section in the blend must have the same number of entities. So since we have four entities in the square, we need to divide the circle up into four entities as well. Now you can approach a blend like this in a couple of different ways. You can sketch the sections as you create the blend or sketch them ahead of time and then just use the select section option when you create the blend. That's what we're doing here. So now it's just a matter of selecting each section of the blend and notice that I use loop so that I don't have to pick four entities in each section and when we're finished we get a nice square to round blend. And here's the result. Well now you know how to create a square to round blend. And as always, I invite you to return to the Learning Exchange often and keep your skills sharp. Bye for now.